Okay, now, a lot of me right now would expect this to be an irrational number because most square roots are irrational. The vast majority of them are, okay? But let's see what our calculator tells us here. Negative 108.8. So let me kind of go back to the test. This is negative 108.8. Well, right there, it tells me everything I need to know, right? I can now say this is a rational number because it has a decimal that terminates. And that is a great way to do it. It's a great explanation. Done. You know what I mean? Now, what are they really trying to get at here? Let me talk about this briefly before we move on to the next two-point problem. There was something you were supposed to learn in Algebra 1 that said, if you take a rational number times a rational number, you get a rational number. All right? If you take two rational numbers and you multiply them together, you get a rational number. If you take a rational number and you multiply it by an irrational number, you will get an irrational number as long as the rational number is not equal to zero. 